What's going on everyone? It's the People's Envoy Updog here with you again and today I have a lot of different announcements and news items for you real quick. So I wanted to go over it with you. I'm going to first start talking about DD8 and some more information about that. And then later we'll give you some uh, information on an upcoming character. Super fan favorite. I know people are going to be excited about it so I can't wait to show you guys about that. But let's get into DD8 first. Now there is, as you probably saw yesterday, I think it was an accident that they put in an event into the game uh, for completing Dark Dimension 8 nodes. So there will be an event for that, it looks like. And you could earn up to uh, 7 red stars on Odin if you complete that milestone by the 14th of October. So that's kind of interesting. They're experimenting. They keep experimenting with things. So this will be interesting to see what happens here. I think they're trying to give an advantage to the spenders, so this is one way they can do that. So yeah, that'll be interesting to see. So DD8 is going to be opening starting on the 16th, so about a week, about six days from now, from this recording. And as we know already, we just need the purple ISO level 3 to enter. Uh, we do need five characters per node and this is the official i've been waiting for this information been asking been waiting this is the official order of the nodes so it's going to be city heroes first then city villains a lot of people hopefully you didn't build up your or put your purple ice on your city villains first because the heroes in fact are going to be first i did it on spider society uh, early just because i wanted to get an extra advantage in like crucible and be able to sim the Orcus raids and everything. It was a pure guess, pure luck on my part. Um, but yeah, this is the actual order. Please take note right here of the order. And they they do mention that yes, you can use like mythic characters in their respective sections. So that's a, another good reminder, I guess. They just talk about the rewards here on the nodes, it looks like. These ravens, I'm guessing, are part of that milestone event. And for first place, they haven't actually been open, I guess, or transparent about this in the past. But the very first complete person who completes it will get three diamonds on an upcoming, on the next legendary that comes out. And, hey, what does this say? Three diamonds for Blade? Yes, that is right. Blade is coming to the game. I will show you some pictures here at the here in a few minutes. But Blade will be on the Night Stalker team. He is the one of the members. So far we know there's gonna be Moon Knight, Man Thing. There's gonna be the Karen Page character, which um all we know is what she looks like really and what kind of character she's gonna be based on our the community votes. Uh, and then Blade, that's four. We don't know the fifth. If you've been paying attention to data mines, you might think it's that that character, but not nothing official yet on the fifth character. So up to the first ten people to complete Dark Dimension 8 will get uh, diamonds on Blade. Depending on where you rank, you'll get two or three. So that's kind of cool. Uh, they're going to do some more polling for whatever characters the... Uh, finisher used uh, just like other dark dimensions it's kind of, oh players will receive a hundred shards for the winner of the poll okay so that's pretty cool I like that and the 10 for 10 deals those are always great too the dark dimension planner it's a little it's not quite working quite well right now so we will see uh, if they can get that fixed but uh, I'm sure they will. It usually fixes itself once the Dark Dimension actually goes live in the game. So, so another great piece of news is the Radioactive Treat Store is not going to be extended, so you don't have to core to finish off those that currency. Uh, I think this is a great thing. I wish they would have probably announced it a little bit sooner, but they did already extend it in the game. So I just wanted to point that out that yes, it will be extended. So let's talk about Blade real quick. 
He is definitely not going to be the legendary for the Night Stalkers team. There is going to be a separate character not on the Night Stalkers team who will be the leg who will be the next legendary character. I'm sure we'll be learning more information or I'll be able to talk about more information on that in the future. But for now, they the Scopely wanted to make sure that us envoys did tell you that he will not be legendary. He will not be dark promotion care credits. I did have a couple of things that I can share also on top of him not being the next legendary. Um, so we'll give you a little bit of a tidbit as part of his kit. There are parts of his kit that are going to be useful for Dark Dimension. I can only tell you a couple of things about his um, abilities. So his ultimate has a 20% health steal on the primary target. So that's really great for Dark Dimension and really great for like getting through really high stat, high health characters. And then his basic reduces speed bar by 10% and hits twice. Now I did ask for confirmation if this means it's a total of a 20% rewind or is it the second hit just like a bonus attack or something. I haven't got response on that yet, but uh, just a little tidbit about his kit. I don't even have the full kit yet. We were just told these two pieces of information, so pretty cool. Know down in the comments how excited you are for Blade. I know I've had a bunch of people saying for a long time, like, oh man, I really wish Blade was in the game. And one last quick little thing I wanted to say about Null. This is a, a data mined image. This is not an official image that I have, but Null is going to officially be the boss for Battle World. You'll face him at the end. There's stages that you go through, and at the very last stage, you'll face him. He's going to be crazy, doing probably tons of damage, and um, it'll take a team group effort to take him down, I think. But uh, they, yeah, Scopely wanted us to make sure you guys knew that, yes, he is for sure officially the boss. He is not going to be playable. Uh, in the player's hands, he, but he is going to be the main boss character, so pretty exciting. That's why I have been telling people, even with the character availability changes, I think we just need to hold off and see what happens, because there is a bunch of exciting stuff they've told us, and that was at, that was at the time when all these character, character changes, uh, availability changes came out. So this is some of the stuff. This isn't everything, but this is just a little, maybe, peak of the iceberg here that uh, that we can share and that we're excited about. At least, at least that I'm excited about anyway. So hope you enjoyed this video, and until next time, make sure you spend those resources wisely. We will see you around.